What's up, Tim Sykes here. Another uh, crazy morning. I made nearly seven grand. Uh, my biggest winner was on GNUS, uh, which is now more than doubled since I began buying right when they issued the shareholder letter. That was the catalyst. Um, a lot of people, you know, say that stocks have potential like, oh, maybe this, maybe that. I wait for actual catalysts. Um, and before I get into how I made, you know, seven grand, I hope that you watch my video lesson. Uh, from yesterday, uh, how I nailed uh, GNUS and CREX uh, spikes in an ugly market. And my secret is this, this breaking news tool. Um, I'll post a link one more time. It is two uh, ex-hedge fund traders who basically sort through all the news um, and filter only the best uh, ones so that you can really focus on this. And uh, frankly, this is a, a game-changing technology. Um, never before have you really been able to filter the news and stocks to trade doesn't just, you know, filter scans. Now it filters news um, and social media. I still have to do a video lesson on social media uh, search tool that, you know, will blow your mind how many pumpers uh, coordinate together. And maybe they have like a private Skype or private Zoom and they're all like, now issue the buy now. And they just pump. Um, not to say that these companies are necessarily bad companies or terrible companies. I mean, almost all penny stocks are terrible companies, but the pumping is the problem because that's what creates the whole run up. Um, so GNUS, I mean, this run up was not created by pumping. This was created by a shareholder letter, a catalyst, uh, some bit of a short squeeze because a lot of people say, oh, this stock is overvalued. I don't care whether it's overvalued or not. Um, I was in on the dip buy. I nailed the buy in the 70s, but I sold too early in the 80s yesterday, missing the run up to a buck 40. I mean, it was ridiculous how much it went up. Uh, but today I nailed uh, the potential red to green uh, price action. And if you go through uh, my trades, uh, you can see here, this was my best trade, a little over three grand uh, on the day on this one uh, trade. And you can see it here in, in the 120s, out in the high 140s. Um, sorry, I got too many windows open. Um, but, you know, th the point was this morning, recognizing that it was a big runner yesterday, recognizing that even though it was down a little pre-market, I mean, it just needed, uh, you know, some spiking. And, and frankly, we got that. Um, I wanted a bigger position, but it just spiked so damn fast. Um, it's pretty crazy. Although, you know, again, I should have, could have, would have uh, held longer, but I made a nice uh, three grand on that. Then I also uh, traded uh, NMHLY uh, and SPOM, uh, two other winners uh, that just keep, um, you know, spiking nearly every single day. I mean, I, I took some SPOM yesterday and this just keeps going. NMHLY uh, two of my top upcoming students, uh, Jack Kellogg and Kyle Williams, have been really banking on this volatility, and I kind of ignored it, mainly just because like it was a weird ticker. Like I was like, no, I don't, I don't know about that. But today, I mean, it had a nice morning spike and a really fast dip, and I got that dip, um, and it went back to the 50s. I got in in the 40s, out in the 50s. Nothing huge, um, but this is the kind of volatility that I like trading, and I got to give props uh, to some students. Um, Saadi, uh, you know, making money shorting MARK. Um, a lot of people are, are curious what I think about MARK. Like, again, this company has potential. I was buying it in the 30s. I was buying it in the 40s. So, you know, the thing went up, you know, five, six, seven times from my buys. But at the same time, I was buying it because of potential contracts. Um, when it goes up five, six, seven times and the contracts still haven't been announced, you have to really be concerned because the reason why it went up here, a little bit of a short squeeze and a little bit of pumping. Um, those are the two main trends these days. A lot of people are like, okay, we get it. There are pumpers. You don't seem to get it um, because you're not using the stocks to trade social media search tool. I can't tell you how many freaking DMs I get where they're like, how do you see the pumping? And I'm like, use the stocks to trade social media search tool. You can see it all with any of these you know, low price plays and the pumps all come in at the same time. Um, what's happened with a lot of, you know, low price stocks, uh, you know, past pumpers used to have email lists. And uh, unfortunately, I think probably just because there's been so many bad, you know, internet marketers over the years that people don't really uh, trust their emails anymore. I know like Gmail has a whole like spam section. Um, so what these pumpers have resorted to is creating these like free chat rooms and everyone's like, oh, they're helping us. It's free. And they don't realize that 
the pumpers are taking massive positions, uh, coordinating their buys all at the same time across many different chat rooms and free websites and free communities. Um, maybe they're even working with the companies or insiders. Very sketchy when you listen to uh, a random screen name uh, or a random username, you know, like Purple Dragon 456 says the DD is solid on this one. Uh, you know, oh, a press release is right around the corner, says Steve74396. And they have like 10 numbers. And it's a joke that newbies listen to this. But at the same time, because it's such a joke, a lot of over aggressive short sellers pounce, thinking that these companies are just going to drop and then they don't. Uh, so, you know, MARK, I couldn't tell you how many pumpers, hum, pumpers were, were like coordinating the buys right in here on this uh, from the low ones to the high ones. And also short sellers were just licking their chops. But the short sellers really like to ignore my video lessons. I can't tell you how many newbie shorts say, oh, you don't need to watch sites as thousands of video lessons is the same pattern every time. And it's not, you know, you have to learn how this works rather than just memorizing patterns. So they rushed in. So you have the do, dual effect. I don't even know where my mind is today. I'm not getting enough sleep. There's too many freaking plays. But the dual effect of the pumpers pumping it up, the newbies chasing because everyone's home from quarantine. It's really like three things. Everyone's home from the quarantine. So it's kind of like holiday trading every day. Lots of idiots who know nothing about stock trading and they just chase whatever's hot. The pumpers pumping it. So then the newbies believe that the pumpers actually have some skills, even though they don't. They're just taking advantage of, you know, how many newbies there are. And then over aggressive short sellers shorting too soon and then getting squeezed, creating an even bigger run up. And we've seen this on Mark. We've seen this on MVIS, um, just as some examples. MVIS went from, you know, 20 cents up to a buck 80. And I was buying this in the 30s and 40s too. Like I was there on the right track. I didn't hold long enough because I don't trust any of these companies. UAVS, I was buying this in the 80s before it went all the way up to five bucks. So this is the market and I can't stop talking about the pumpers because I want to try to protect some newbies. Most newbies will ignore me and they'll have to lose a lot of money, um, learn the you know hard way. Um, but if I can save a few, then I've done my job. Remember, this is the exact same thing as a few years ago when I was fighting the Wolf of Wall Street or the Weed, Wolf of Weed Street, my bad. They come up with these different usernames. Wolf of Wall Street still owes 100 million plus to his victims in the US and that's why he's hiding out internationally. So there's a reason why uh, JB and I don't meet up because I would call him out on the $100 million he owes his victims of fraud. Um, I'm not bitter, I just, I don't like injustice, you know? I, I don't like people who are, you know, scamming people for $100 million plus and then scamming people not paying the 100 million that they owe them even though they're making money thanks to the success of the movie. And the wolf of Weed Street, you know, pumped up all these penny stocks and they all crashed. Uh, weed stocks, again, newbies got crushed. So for me, it's more than just the patterns. It's about correcting injustice and calling out the scammers. And, you know, I don't know who's behind any of these screen names. I don't care. Um, newbies just have to be where. So props to Saditha for shorting MARK and banking. Props to Benjamin. Uh, who nailed uh, GNUS for a 404 profit. Uh, Everardo uh, made some money on uh, GNUS, like what, 10, 15%. Uh, Justin, safe trade, 10% on GNUS. Um, and, you know, he said, never thought he'd be happy just breaking even. And, you know, again, this is one of the newbies who didn't know uh, about MARK. And now, like, he read my article about, you know, the, the pumps and what's going on. And he learned. And now he's, you know, breaking even. Um, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, Avi won trades on, uh, TOMZ made some money. TOMZ I had overnight sold into the, uh, you know, kind of disappointing, um, open and actually had a late day or not even late day, late morning spike, um, up to 92. This is what I wanted at the market open. A lot of people said, why didn't you hold? Well, I don't hold through this choppiness. Okay. I play it very safely. Um, and so I missed out on this, but again, I was buying it in the seventies, selling in the eighties. So I missed the nineties. Um, I'm proud that Avi trades, um, banked, uh, Kalichi made three grand on GNUS. I think he made another 2000 later in the day. Ronaldo, uh, traded GNUS a few times safely. 
uh, and then Ped uh, made 50 cents a share, 850 bucks in 20 minutes uh, on uh, GNUS, and he was using stocks to trade. Also, a few people in the chat room, Art of War 3200 on IZEA, Capital K, uh, nice little 10% plus on GNUS. Code Trader uh, made 1,000 bucks on BPMX. Uh, is that Skittles <laughs> made uh, like 10% on GNUS? Uh, Relentless Storm made like 10%. Uh, Family Guy shorted Eman. Uh, Eman was another one of their, their pumps and, you know, bad earnings. Um, Anthony Quad made some money on uh, GNUS. Uh, LK Holdings made like 20% on SPOM. Jackaroo shorted M NMHLY. He got it wrong. He's a little overwhelmed too. And he's been making two, three grand. He made eight grand yesterday. Um, and then Helsey, I saw, just made a dollar a share or more on AKER. So long story short, you got to be prepared. GNUS recognized the shareholder letter yesterday, recognize uh, the pattern for potential red to green move where you have these kinds of spikes and then dips. Look, spike, dip. This was an optimal time to buy. Spike, dip. This was an optimal time to buy. Dip. This was an optimal time to buy. Spike, dip, this was an optimal time to, I mean, this is not just random stuff. Like we've had one, two, three, now four dips. Every single one of those dips has been the right time to buy. Now I wouldn't necessarily chase it here in the 170s. I mean, my last buy was in the 120s. Um, but this is what you can do. You don't just have to hold and hope. And this is what I have a problem with. A lot of traders and a lot of investors, like they just hold. And holding and hoping is not an option. Like M-A-R-K, I'm happy that it went up so much. Like good job pumpers, good job over aggressive short sellers for creating the squeeze. But if you're long, you do not have to hold through a 50% drawdown. It blows my mind. I don't care if there is a PR tomorrow. I don't care if this does go back to $3 a share. You cannot risk just holding and hoping because more times than not, it will not come back. And it's a very slippery slope. And for all I know, Mark will not issue a press release. They just delayed their uh, 10Q because they're inept. Um, all of these companies are inept or incompetent or, you know, they're just junk. That's what you have to understand. None of these companies are good. And if you expect the worst out of all of them, you're never disappointed. And if you have that right mindset, then guess what? Then you can just focus on the patterns and the volatility because that is where the big money is. MARK was a great buy on the way up, a great short. I dip bought it a few times, made some money there, but I missed the majority of the run up. It's okay. MVIS, same kind of thing. It was a great run up, great short, great dip buy on the bounce. I mean, this bounce doesn't look like much on the chart, but this is 100% bounce off the lows. So just learn to trade the volatility. That is what I'm asking for you. Do not believe pumpers, do not follow alerts or picks from anybody else, especially in free chat rooms or on free email lists because they are getting compensated in other ways. This is specifically why, even though, you know, I trade with a small account and I donate all my profits to charity, I'm very happy to make the $7,000 because I'm showing you the process, okay? I'm showing you what you can do. GNUS, I made three grand and I sold it in the freaking 140s. It just got up to the 180s. I could have made double or even triple this amount if I had been more aggressive. But I like taking safe profits. I had already made four grand uh, before 10 a.m. Now I'm up, you know, nearly seven grand before 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, so, you know, it's pretty good. And also, if you scroll out, you know, year to date, I am now up 153,000, which is topping all of. Uh, my profits last year. So it's a hot market. Please study up, learn the patterns, don't trust the stocks. And I'm going to post a link again to this uh, breaking news tool on stocks to trade. Please use it. Okay. It will allow you to spot the news and the moves ahead of newbies, ahead of others. And this is the kind of catalyst that you should be focusing on, not hot picks BS, actual news, actual catalysts, and then recognizing which catalyst, like, you know, a positive shareholder letter can have legs, like on GNUS. Former runners can run again. Recognize that. I'll see you guys in chat. So many plays. Congrats to everybody. Education, studying pays off in the long run.